some noise if you're ready. Come on. I know you're ready to party, and that's cool. So, we got the bride and groom. We got champagne and other beverages. Now all I need, we're gonna start with the maid of honor. Where's the maid of honor? Hi, mommy. Come on up. Now you're gonna take your right hand. Grab the champagne glass and hold it up high in the air. There you go. Alright guys, my little baby sister and my new brother Jared. Everybody drink up! Cheers! Cheers! Right room. Yes. been best friends. We've been worst enemies throughout our lives, and I'm privileged to have her as my sister. We've stood together through the good, the bad, and the other. And no, I don't mean Jared. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe today is the day that my baby sister is getting married. I remember, I remember telling her, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> her telling me she didn't know how she would know she'd love somebody. And I said, you'll know. It's, you can't describe it. You'll just know. And she thought I was crazy until she met Jared. She finally told me, I understand. And just know. He's the one. From that moment, that moment I knew that Jared was in the family. There was no getting him out. <laughs> I couldn't be happier for them. There's no two people who com compliment each other more. Here's to wishing you guys a lifetime of fights and making up, laughter and inside jokes, and so many good times. I love you guys, congratulations. Kiss or drink, what do we do? What do we do? I don't know what we do. Both, both, both. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Salud. Salud. The best man, come on up, buddy. That was groovy. I don't know what that was. That was All right, a little, a little nervous, guys. Sorry. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Thank you very much. Um, it ended up being, uh, you know, a little inside, but uh, it was a beautiful ceremony nonetheless. Uh, a few people crying more than they probably should have, Alicia, but that's all right. Um, all right, uh, my name's Ross. I am the groom's older brother uh, and the best man. Um, I say brother first um, because I wasn't always as close to my brothers uh, as I probably could have been. Uh, growing up, uh, Jared was four years uh, younger than me. David was another year and a half. Uh, so they were obviously a lot closer in age than I was. Uh, and I was just kind of always doing my own thing with uh, older kids, running them up in the neighborhoods. Um, I, uh, I tried to spend time with the boys from time to time, um, but with uh, David constantly breaking my uh, toys and uh, Voltron figures and letting uh, uh, hamsters free in the house, uh, he was out right off the bat. Um, Jared, on the other hand, he was a little bit more like me. He had a little bit of athletic ability, um, and I tried really hard to hone those skills. Um, something about, you know, uh, me hurling baseballs at his head, just wasn't really a big fan of that. Dude, all you had to do was throw that glove up and you wouldn't have broken the window. <laughs> I got blamed for that one. Uh, I tried uh, teaching the kid boxing, and uh, again, something about him getting punched in the face, he just, he just wasn't a big fan of, so, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, 
where are we at on this one? So I, I'm just kind of going off. Um, you know, as those two grew up, uh, grew up, they actually became very, very close. They shared the same room, they played the same video games, uh, and I was kind of always left out on my own. Um, you know, as we grew into what I consider adults, um, we actually finally started growing a little bit closer together. Um, you know, David, you know, you, you got married, you had a beautiful daughter, you became a really good father, and you finally understood I was always the smartest. And that, that's really what made us closer together. I mean, I, and it's, you know, it's a big man. You're a big man, big man, to admit to that. Uh, David, or uh, Jared, Jared and I were a little bit better off. Uh, again, we had a lot more in common. Uh, playing golf uh, with my brother has always been a, a competition. He took many, many, many beatings on the golf course, and he keeps coming back. You know what I mean? Not and, sure. And, uh, Not sure. I, I'm really proud of him. But what I'm trying to say is, these last couple years, we've we've grown very, very close. You know, I really wish we probably would have this relationship growing up, um, and that's possibly my fault. I blame the kids, or my parents, more than anything. Um, and you waited that long to have the, the other ones. So, uh, but well, we're young. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's what it is. Uh, 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 when the two of these guys uh, finally said they were going to go ahead and get married, Jared actually said he was going to propose. I, I was really, really excited about it. And I started lobbying right away to be the best man. Uh, I didn't think I had a chance because they were obviously so close, but uh, I actually said David and I could have a boxing match. Uh, we would charge you guys, and the proceeds would go toward the wedding. Um, Jared and Gabby didn't think that was a great idea either, so they just went ahead and made me uh, the best man. And I listen, I'm handling the responsibility great so far, guys. Uh, I think I'm doing really good so far. You're going to stab me, aren't you? <laughs> okay, that goes back to Gabby. I love you to death. However, when I first met you, uh, I, you were obviously very young. I, Jared bringing home an 18-year-old girl, I didn't know what to expect. I, I'm like, all right, well, you know, he's, he's Jared. So uh, I got to know you, and um, not only are you one of the most intelligent and beautiful people I've ever met, you, God, are probably the scariest person that I know. I fear, I'm, I'm worried now. I'm, I'm in a speech and I'm shaking up here right now. Um, you are very talented in both music and art, um, but honestly, your best talent is making him a better person. And that's that's I mean, that's what anyone really you know can only strive for in a partner. So I'm, I'm really proud to do that. Uh, I'll leave you guys with one piece of advice because you both are very strong-headed people. Um, don't ever fight. Let cooler heads prevail. Uh, I, I can understand. So let, let me get my speech down. Okay, right? sorry. Uh, try to try to talk. Try to have a discussion more so than a fight. Um, always come to a compromise. Okay, and uh, if I, you guys are going to have a great and long, healthy relationship, you know, marriage. I'm very proud of you too. I love you guys to death. Uh, everybody, hold your drinks up to the bride and groom. Guys, give him a big hand. Knife. I'd like you to kiss. Kind of thing. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 I'm Gabby's brother, Ward, for all of you to know. Um, I didn't really prepare anything. I just kind of want to flow with it. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Um, Gabby being the littlest out of four siblings, um, we weren't as close as her and my sisters were. Um, but I love her the same. Um, I couldn't have um, handpicked a better person for her to share her life with. Um, I'm very, let's just say, happy that I have a new brother. Um, and I just wish you guys the best. I wish you to have all the happiness and love and joy in your marriage that I have had. Um, and uh, I love you both. Love you.
So we have a wonderful dinner ready for you. We're going to invite you all to our first lunch table by table.